Yeah, I know we don't have a good track record with snipers right now. The life expectancy of a sniper is apparently very slim. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more One Military Camp, or OMZ, as all us school kids are calling it, where we're under constant attack by propaganda drones, and there's not much we can do about it because we have no money. Yeah, we're a little bit tiny bit broke, and they're dropping leaflets everywhere, and people's morale is dropping. They're like, yeah, you know what? You're right. We should go join the enemy camp. That would be a great thing to do. I need to put up one of those um, spins around and, and destroys the shield things, but they're 7,500. You see my problem here. I have negative 3,000. does look like we could get one mission done, though. I don't have anyone available to do the rest of these. Not right now, anyway. Although I could look at getting in some more artillery or tank people or something like that. Um, let's look at Ace's High. What do we need for this? A couple of spies and all of the juggernauts in the world. Helga's on a rampage and challenged us to come after her. Um, sure, that's broadly the basis of the game, Helga. So sure, yeah, we will do that. Helga has troops all over the White Grounds. We can't go straight to Camp Borealis without depleting her forces. Okay, well, uh, my spies are a little sleepy. So when they wake up, Helga, we'll get right on that. Now, what could we be doing in the meantime? Maybe get another tank driver up and running, although I should probably go to my other base, because that's where I've got... I could bring my other chemist, who is here somewhere, back to the base where the chemistry place is, and get that going. Let me... Let, let's let's make a move here. Let's go over to camp number two, uh, somewhere around here. And yeah, I want to bring... Well, I do want to bring my chemist over here, but let's just go over here. Let me see what I've got. Well, first thing I've got is a few upgrades that I haven't done. So upgrade intelligence training and upgrade my spy specialization. That'll actually, oh yeah, repair it too, but also upgrade it. Anything else kicking along here that I need? What's your problem? Uh, nobody's working here. Yeah, that's because they're both on the night shift. That was very, very silly. Okay, uh, Mark, Mark, come here. What's your deal? You're a jinx. Okay, you're on the day shift now, Mark. Sorry, you probably were just about to go to bed, but here we are. Yeah, we've been bombed more than a few times here, so I'm just setting up a few repairs. Now, what do I need that I might be able to put together over here? Not much. Not much. Do I have commando training over here. Also, somebody repair the airplane place here. Uh, yeah, commando specialization. I do have that kicking along. Do I have anyone in my troops? No, no, I don't want to recruit people. I want to look at people. Uh, no training goal. Sebastian, yes, how would you feel? How would you feel about being a commando? It's going to be wicked exciting. You'll need a little bit more in speed and strength. What are you in now? You're in strength training. Okay, good. And uh, Richard here, what's your deal? How would you also feel about being a commando? You're going to need a little more in intelligence and accuracy. Okay. Well, great news. You're in intelligence right now. Now, what else could I use around here? Maybe some more artillery, tank drivers. Do I even have tiny tanks set up here? Do I have tank driving specialization? Any yes, we're saving and we're very excited about that. Um, do I have that? anywhere around here. Also, somebody repair that. Did I put tiny tanks down? Uh, that's desert soldier. I know what that does. They do desert soldiery things. What's your problem? You don't have anyone working here. Okay. Day shift, night shift. Somebody's on their way. Trust me. Yeah, I've got tank drivers over here. What if we got some tank drivers kicking along in this neck of the woods? Who might want to be a tank driver? Uh, Haruki, you look like you can drive a tank. What's your problem? Uh, Lewis was deserted to an unintended low morale period. Yeah, Lewis, I can't be expected to keep track of all of you. Okay, if you have low morale, go do something fun. Is anyone else suffering on something? Uh, Lewis is out of here. Uh, you have oh, Gustav, uh, come here. Yes, you have low stamina. I don't know, man. Go take a break. Just chill. Just go chill. Go get something to eat. I don't know. Just kind of hang out. I need to get back to, back to tanks, dude. Um, tanks are a little more important right now. So Haruki, yes, how about you? went off and drove a tank or two. You're already all set to do it, so specialize you. Thank you very much. Um, you're a desert soldier. That's it. I've, everyone else has got a kind of a thing that they're doing around here. Anyone really good that I could be recruiting? Because this base actually makes money. I could afford to be recruiting a few people. You're a night owl. You're erudite. You're handy. Uh, you're out of here. You're heroic, Eduardo. Oh, good. I like you. Why don't you go over to strength training? Off you go. There you go. And why don't you go ahead and work on becoming a tank driver? All right. Uh, Gustav is very, very hungry. I don't know how to help you, man. Go, go. Well, you're asleep, Gustav. 
I can't force feed you, man. Uh, David Lee has low morale. Well, why don't you just go take a break? Take a break, kid. All right? Yes, I know we're in the military, but we're kind of a chill military where we take breaks a lot. And on that, actually, why don't we add some more entertainment buildings around here? Maybe a uh, cinema. Uh, possibly not like right next to the barracks, just because, you know, right next to the barracks is going to be a little noisy. Let's run a road up there and up there. Okay, you should be in range of power, I believe. Yeah, you should be fine for power. Show me this. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay, uh, back to what we were doing around here. We've got one tank driver out of three. All right, I should get another chemist. That's what I should be doing around here. So back to the, the little recruitment station here. Uh, Brainiac, that might come in handy. Hawkeye, that's pretty good. Um, what is your thing here? Yeah, you need accuracy. So, Cynthia, you're in. Uh, go to accuracy training first, just because you'll rip right through that. And then, Cynthia, we're going to have you uh, work with volatile chemicals all the time. It's going to be super, super exciting for you. All right, Richard's done being smart, so let's move you over to accuracy. There you go. That'll flesh you out for being a commando. And Eduardo, whatever you're doing ain't working. So let me see. I have, uh, let's see, what do you need to be? Oh, accuracy again. Okay, go over to accuracy. Have fun with that. Uh, it, a tank driver, you're going to want to be extremely accurate with that so you don't, you know, shell your own people. What else could I... I'm going to just grab a few more recruits. Uh, somebody go repair this, please. I'm going to grab a few more recruits while I'm in the neighborhood. Just start getting some all-rounders cooking along. No, no, go. Oh, yes, we're saving again. We're very excited about that. Yeah, Michelle here. You're just going to be a generic private. Uh, oh, I don't think I have... Um, barracks for you. Okay, let me put something together along those lines. Um, kind of a little tight for space around here, but I think we can make it happen. So a barracks. Yep, there we go. Pop that guy. Uh, yeah, right in there just in case I want to run a road around it. Looks like you are in range of power. Yeah, you, you got power down here. You're going to be fine, kid. Okay, so that's somewhere for people to live. Let's get back to the recruiting game here. So who was that? Michelle? Yeah, Michelle. Why don't you go into speed training? I don't really know what you're going to do yet, so just go have fun getting faster at things. Uh, Brainiac, Brainiac, Sickly, Sprinter again. Oh, Sprinter and Brainiac. Oh, well, you are hired. Okay, Sebastian, what's your problem? You need to be a teeny tiny bit faster, it looks like. So speed training for you. And Cynthia, what's your problem? Oh, you need a lot of things. you got a lot of problems. All right, why don't you go over to strength training for right now, and then we'll figure it out later. Eduardo, however, is ready to go. Okay, what did I have you do? Tank driving. Yep, off you go. You get a free tank today. Oh, and Sebastian's good to go, too. All right, off you go, man. Commando that on up. That should fill out the ranks a little bit here. Yeah, we've got, well, one out of two there. Artillery basically coming together. We're being bombed, but I'm sure we're going to work that out. That's that's going to be fine. We get bombed often. We're kind of used to it around here. Uh, what is, oh, yes, this is solar power. Yes, of course, so that only works. There we go, in the daytime, because that's how the sun works, Dave. What I'm going to do is pull my other chemist out of here. So let me see here. Let's see if I can find them relatively quickly. Commando, private... Uh, chemistry, chemistry, chemist. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you uh, get back to the other camp, please. And then I'll work on the second one over there. You know what? While I'm actually here, I think I can at least bang out this Cliffs of Hopelands thing. So let's go over there. That'll be a quick 10K. Maybe I can afford one of those destroy the shield generator things. Yeah, basically anyone at all. Okay, so Teresa. This will actually, it's not even... It, it's literally anyone. Okay, anyone can do this. They're going to go away forever, though, aren't they? I bet you they're, they're, these guys are just gone. Okay, we'll take a chance on this, and then I'll just flesh it out as we go along. You know what? I can lose one juggernaut. I can't, really. I actually need three, but here we are. I'll put them all back together later. Off you go, kids, and then let's go back down to here and try and put all of that back together. Um, still have negative 3K. I have no money in this base at all. All right, leadership, that's a great one. So why don't you go, sure, into strength training, that's right. fine. Brainiac is a perfectly good trait to be having. Uh, no, not the not the ammo workshop. Why would you think that? 
No, intelligence training. Go do that, kid. And then what have you got? Jinx, I'll pass. Thank you. Sprinter. Sure, absolutely. Go into speed training. And then we'll figure you out from there. I need to kind of put everyone back together. All right, so they're gone, but I got some money out of that. All right, good. Uh, yeah, throw it into, actually throw it right into pause mode before I spend all of that money. I need more like whirly round, destroy the shield generator thingamajiggies here. Hardcore because, um, you know, propaganda and all. So defense, defense, defense. Yeah, I need one of these. It's exactly what I need right here. So let's put that anywhere. What do you mean not enough money? Oh, come on. I'm just a little bit shy. I wonder if there's any food I could sell or something like that. Hang on, hang on. Maybe? Because top bun will buy at eight per unit, and if I sell basically all of my food... Okay, pause it, pause it, pause it while I've got the money in hand. Hang on. This is... Her, I'm selling food. Soldiers need food. The army marches on her stomach on their stomach. Wasn't that like a Napoleon thing or something? I don't know. Um, put this guy somewhere where it'll have some degree of use. So how about right over there? There, there's all my money gone. All the money has gone away. Buy money. Uh, what's your problem? Not connected to a security hub. Of course you're not. Of course you're, I can't afford a security hub. Okay. Um, well, everyone, don't don't believe the propaganda, I guess. Fake news. There we go. More food is coming in. So I sold food and then paid money to get more food back. So I'm in heavier debt so I can afford the thing that I can't actually use because it's not connected to a security hub because I can't afford a security hub, nor can I afford to hire people to man a security hub. Welcome to the channel. Okay, okay. Slam it back into pause mode. My money just came in for the day. Super. All right, let's get... First things first here, a security hub. Uh, where do we where do we believe we're going to put that? Maybe here, here? No, I'm kind of boned for space here. Uh, I can get one in there that will cover that area. And obviously, absolutely nobody works there. Do I have any free houses over here? Oh, somebody's got to get over and do a round of repairs at some point. I got two free houses down there. That'll do what I needed to do. So let me hire anyone at all for this. Uh, David, you're a night owl. Fantastic. Why don't you go into security hub? Yup. And no personnel. Yeah, I know there's no personnel. That's what we're doing right now. Make sure you're on the night shift. You're in. And then I need somebody else. Uh, sprinter, good cook, handy, not as much. Night owl again. No, Hawkeye. I'll take literally anyone at this point. Uh, sure, defensive knowledge. There you go. You're going to be on the day shift for this. And you're also going to go over there. Okay, that should get that up and running when somebody actually gets over here. Also, somebody go and rep repair. Oh, we're saving. Yes, now, I got Nancy set up to be a spy. We're actually pretty good on spies right now. Can I switch you out to, say, sniper? Which is a little bit more of what I need at the moment. Uh, so, Nancy, what does, that, what does that do for your life there? You're good on strength. You're good on accuracy. You just need a little bit more speed. So, let's get you into speed training. Right there. Yeah, I'm I'm good on I'm good on spies, kid. I got I got spies. I do need another juggernaut. Uh you're going for commando, commando, commando. Okay, I need more generic troops around here. Let me oh somebody go repair that, would you please? I can't be expected to tell you all what to do. Well, Nancy, you seem to be good at things already. Alright, off you go to be a sniper. Well done. Okay, does that actually round out what I need there? Uh yeah, it does. We can actually do threats on the Hong step now. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So infantry, yep, I got a few of these guys. Understood. So infantry and Roger infantry that. and sniper. And that, then huh? my baby sniper here who's barely held a rifle. Ooh, this is um not going to be a walkover. Off you go, kids. Good luck with the new sniper thing. Just point the, the I think, the smaller end at your enemy and then pull the little thingamajiggy. Now, while we've been doing all of that, I have a whole bunch of research points that I haven't done anything with yet. What could we... anything good in... Ah, I don't really want that. Shared house might be good. Yeah, I, I don't hate that. Private house level three. Sure. I mean, all that's good. Let's, um, let's keep specializing the specializations here. So, intelligence. Let me get my core ones up and running here. So, yeah, I will take speed training up to max. And how about intelligence training up to max? That leaves me with what? You know what? I can get one more. Just get strength training up to max. All right, let me go through. We're going to need to upgrade everybody around here. Edward, what's your problem? What are you good at? Okay, you need... Wow, you need a lot of work, man. Why don't you go into speed training? Get that going on. 
It's going to be a while before Edward's going to be doing anything at all. However, we have done the mission here, and it has failed. Okay, everybody take a nap. We'll give it a shot again. Except that a couple of them aren't actually coming back. Oh, super. All right, well, I'm going to need some more snipers, guys. I know... Yeah, I know we don't have a good track record with snipers right now. The life expectancy of a sniper is apparently very slim. Uh, however, I, I do need some more potential candidates. Um, I'm sure it's going to go better this time. I no, it, it totally it totally will. No, 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 no. It's going to be fine. Now, I'm back over at the other base here, at the desert base, and Richard is ready to specialize. So off you go, kid. Sir. Yep, go do some commando-y kind of things. You know, stabby, stabby, sneaky, sneaky, all that sort of stuff. Where's that put me over here? I've got that. I need another artillery person for Hot Spring Paradise. Okay, I think I've got someone working on it, but maybe I can just grab another one. Artillery is just strength. So if we had someone who was like, Walking in the door. Oh, ooh, you're very good, Khalil. Sprinter and Brainiac. Oh, I'm grabbing you just to grab you. Uh, yeah, go to intelligence training. That's fine. Do we have anyone? Yeah, I know you're tired of waiting to be recruited. Well, there you go. Jinx and defensive knowledge. No, I was looking for someone who might be gaining strength very quickly, but we don't have that. Okay, um, who is not assigned to kind of anything at all? Who's not doing anything? Now, James is over here just kind of being a bit of an all-rounder. I could put you... Actually, hang on. No, you're a desert soldier. You can't. I don't want you to change. We might need another de desert soldier one of these days. I think we needed them once and never again. But I've got a couple, just in case it comes up. I've got three, actually. Uh, so uh, what are you doing down here, Emma? You don't have a training goal to find. And it looks like you're totally accurate in things, but not much else. Why don't you get out of accuracy training and go to strength training? Why don't we have you... Wait, what did I need again? I needed... Was that artillery? Yeah, artillery. So, Emma, uh, you're going to grab a really, really big shooty gun and really, really big shooty gun people. Ah, but more importantly, Cynthia is ready to specialize. So, off you go to Volatile Chemical School. Yeah, put on your little hazmat suit there. It's going to be great, kid. It's, you're going to love it. Oh, life expectancy, not as much here. I need one more tank driver, and we're in on this snowed-in mission. Yep, Emma's already ready to go on artillery, so off you go. Good job, Emma. I think I've got another one kind of coming right behind you there. And we're ready. Hot Spring Paradise, we're saving. We're very excited about that. Hot Spring Paradise, we can do. Okay. I don't have, like, the best... Wow, Emma. Emma, Emma, okay. Emma. I know, you just Good. specialized. I get it, Emma. I totally understand this. Um, but wow, you suck hard. I mean, this is just awful. You're, you're terrible. You're the worst soldier we've ever had. Uh, off you go, though. Okay, how did we do? We failed. Okay. Did we lose anyone? No. All right, at least they can come. You're sick with something. You've had some sort of injury or psychological trauma or something. Okay, everybody come home. Everybody take a nap. And we'll go give it another shot. I'm back at base number one, and I'm just grabbing Bernardo for no real reason, just to get another all-rounder cooking along here. And you know what? I might... Oh, you're, you sleep more, though. I don't want you. You're sickly. You're a good cook. Don't really care. How about you? Slow recovery. No. Yeah, we're getting we're getting bombed. I'm sure that's all going to work out just fine. Uh, if something gets blown up, we will um, we'll put it back together. That's kind of how repairs work. So, uh, yes, we're saving. We're very excited about that. And thank you. I'd like to repair that, please. Yeah, I'm just going to get some more, if anyone good comes in, all-rounders. Are my, are my little take-down-the-shield things doing their job here? I believe we should be taking down the shield over here somewhere. There we go. Everything's fine. Ooh, Oliver, Beefy, and Hawkeye. Oh, you're in, kid. You're totally in. You're like half of the Avengers right there. Off you go. Just learn anything. I don't even care. Oh, we're being bombed again. Um, this will probably work itself out. Nothing to fear here. Uh, people of one military camp or OMC is all us cool kids are calling it. I think we've got enough of the spinny things. And if we don't, we've got repair people. If I put another medicine warehouse... Oh, yeah, it will. Just clip right in there. Yeah, we may as well get as much of this as we can. We keep maxing out over here. So I may as well get as much of this stuff in as I can. And what about the food one? Uh, first of all, somebody needs to go and repair that very, very quickly. So go repair that. Let's put another uh, food warehouse thingamajiggy there. Oh, hang on. Ken needs to talk to me. Ken, what's your problem? Uh, what do I have you doing? Oh, sniper. Oh, good. Bad news for you, kid. 
<laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, terrible news for you. Not not a great life expectancy on that. Uh, so off you go to be more accurate. You really want to work on that accuracy, kid, because people will be shooting back and the last team didn't make it home. All right, so let's get another food warehouse. Uh, sort of, no, no. Yes, like like that. But yeah, that's where your little thingamajiggy goes in there. Okay, get that going in there. Oh, there's no road. I'll, I will fix that momentarily. There you go. And Edward needs to change out here, so why don't you go over to intelligence training. Who's ready to specialize? Melissa. Uh, you were going for artillery. Okay, well, specialize yourself there. Yeah. Off you go to artillery. I should probably let you train a little bit before you do that, just a tiny little bit, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. We're getting bombed, but that's not the important part of the story. I feel like the medicine is just going right off the conveyor belt there and disappearing rather than going in here, which is where I want it. I think somehow I've I've bungled this. No one is horribly surprised by that information there. Yeah, the medicine comes along, and it doesn't go in here because we're full, and then it just goes off there and disappears into nothingness without actually going into this thing. Hmm. I'm going to... um. I'm going to destroy that, and then we will kind of figure out maybe, hopefully, what the problem is here. Unfortunately, I, can't, I don't think I'm going to have the room to put it there. Maybe I will. Uh, so give me a medicine where it worked over here. That's the weird thing. I can't now. I can't put it here because there's no road here. Hmm. Well, no reason to have it there if it's not doing its job. This is full. That's great. I appreciate full. Uh, Ken, what's your problem? What were you... Oh, you're also going for a sniper. <laughs> oh, dear. Bad news for you. Now, in good news, Edward is ready to be a juggernaut. So go get Juggernaughty over there. And I think that might be all I needed to... Yeah, we can give a shot at Aces High. We'll see how this is going to go, because one of our juggernauts literally just learned how to do Juggernaut. Okay, oh, my spies are not super awesome either, Juggernaut. I've got two really good Juggernauts, and then this guy. Okay, we've got, you know, like a three-quarter chance of getting it done. We haven't had good luck today, but let's see how it goes. Now, it's working over here with the food warehouse one. So, yeah, this one's full, and they're moving stuff off into the new one here. In fact, I could get even more of that going on. Uh, first of all, somebody repair the farm, please. I don't know how you repair a farm. Till the soil. That sounds like something you should do in a farm. Uh, however, my guy here, my farmer, is just beat. Why don't you go take a break, man? You've been farming for like a wicked long time, dude. I don't even know what we're growing over here. It looks like vaguely tomatoes and some sort of fruit tree. Apples, oranges, not sure. Looks like a very healthy way to start your day, though. I need more defense down here. I need way more defense down here. All right, we're shooting over there. That's good. I think we've broadly dealt with the problem there, sort of. Uh, more importantly, what's going on here? Another failure. Okay. These recruits are still green. Okay. Did we lose anyone? We did not lose anyone. Okay, that's good. In the meantime, let's get the medicine warehouse upgraded, because that's the only one that I have that doesn't have uh, automated... Uh, supply drop thingamajiggies here. Also, somebody repair that while I'm thinking of it. And repair this, too. Well, we've been bombed frequently around here. Uh, show me one of my medicine warehouse things. It should have a little upgrade on it somewhere. Usually, I put them right over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so upgrade this. Yup. And then I want to automate this. So, say, like, below 25%. And then we'll, um, who would I like to be my provider here? Who's good? 12, 7, 7, 6. Okay, you guys are, you, you're the guys now. So at this point, I am basically waiting for this team to sleep off their failure, get back up and running there. I've got somebody training for artillery, so we might be able to get that going soon enough. And I got a couple of snipers that are sort of on deck getting ready to be all snipery. The chemists are over in the other base. We'll cope with that. So largely what I need to do is just sort of sit here and wait for things to happen. Uh, what's my money like right now? 14. Oh, and I just got paid for the day. Good. I want to get one more spinny shoot things down thing down. And actually maybe another rocket battery while I'm in here. So can I get this? Uh, would this be somewhere like maybe right here that might just be on the edge of the no it's not uh there we go that'll work put that there and then let's put another rocket battery right next to it uh rocket rocket yeah right next to the houses i love this idea no no that's a park no that's a rock 
Uh, anywhere we'd like to have a rocket battery. There we go. Uh, right next to the other one. Is that sensible? I don't know. Let's put it, say, up here instead. Except that's not connected to a security hub. Okay, I might just be able to afford to put all of this together so security hub could live up there. And actually, if I'm going to put that up there, I may as well put one of the spinny take the shield down thing. But now I'm going to need some security people. Yes, we're saving. We're very excited about that. But to do that, I'm going to need some more houses because we don't have any left. So let's just run a road in there and then I'll fill all of this in with some private houses or at least a few to get us started anyway. Uh, so that and then more of these, please. Give me like six. Uh, make sure you leave some money left, Dave. Let's not gut our account. Okay, new team is hired. The night shift guy is making his way over there at some point, and that will get manned momentarily. So that puts us in range of these guys over here. And yeah, this should all be kind of broadly fine. Maybe another spinny take the shield down thing would be a good idea. That seems to be our biggest problem over there. So show me the, no, show me the thing that I'm, no, show me the thing that I'm looking for. Thank you. That thing right there. Let's get that guy. Uh, that should be well within range of that. And got a battery over here to shoot things down. You know what? Yeah, I'm feeling generous. Let's throw up another battery here. We get, we get shot a lot, except you can't because you don't have enough money. Okay. I'm basically going to go grab some breakfast. It is rather early in the morning as I record this and just kind of kick it into high speed mode with the medical warehouse now automated. I don't think I really need to check in here very much until people are ready to specialize. So I'll pop back in in a little bit and see kind of where everyone's at. Well, a little while later, and the base is not destroyed, so that's good news. This bit got destroyed, but that's fine. We can repair that. That's no problem. Looks like Ken is ready to specialize. What did I have you doing? Oh, sniper. Oh, bad news for you, Chief. Yeah, off you go. Um, learn sniping, like, way better than the other guys did. Where does that really put us? We could give us another shot at Aces High. Let's give... Everyone should be well-rested at this point. So all my juggernauts and my other juggernaut is a little better at being juggernaughty. So hopefully this will go a little bit better. Where are we at on everything else? I need one more sniper to come in. And I need another tank driver in the other, uh, the other base there. I have accumulated a metric ton of research. So let's just start maxing everything out. You know what? Everything can get maxed out right now. Or at least as much as I can get anyway. So I've just been going down the line here. Now that should put accuracy training needing a bit of an upgrade. There it is right over there. Actually, that's artillery, but that can get upgraded as well. Okay, do I have any money? A little bit. A little bit of money kicking around here. Upgrade that guy right there. Upgrade that guy and repair it while you're in the neighborhood, if you could, please. There we go. Accuracy training. Upgrade that to max, please. That'll get people... A lot more accurate, a lot faster. Okay, how did we do? Oh my god, we actually got something done. We finished Aces High. Our enemy airfields have been neutralized. Taking Camp Borealis back will be child's play. Excellent, everybody came home. We got a little bit of money out of that. Oh dear, what do you want? Oh, no big deal. It was just Helga telling us that she's captured someone and we'll never, ever, ever, ever take Camp Borealis back. But we, we might, actually. We might get that done just fine. Now, that's new, isn't it? I don't think we have that, do we? Hang on, let me look at research here. What are you showing me there? What What's going on with that? Is that that one? Yeah, Desert... Oh, it's Desert Soldier. Oh, okay, I might have that set up in the other camp. Hang on, let me peel over there. Yeah, I've got the Desert Soldiers over here. I just need one more tank driver, and I need one more tank driver anyway. Actually, having some extra tank drivers would not be the worst idea in the world. I know I've got a couple of people queued up to do that over here, but... Extra tank drivers are always going to go down well. Uh, your erudite, your Hawkeye, that, I mean, that's fine. Actually, you know what? That's a good thing for a tank driver. So go ahead and go into accurate. Actually, strength training will be fine. You need that as well. Uh, go into strength training. Do that. And then come here. You are going to get a goal as a tank driver. And Blake is ready to specialize. What did I have you do? And, oh, good. Tank driver. Excellent. Just what I needed. Off you go. Go do some tank driving, please. That should put us in good shape. Well, good shape, he says optimistically. It's not really going to be good shape at all because my tank driver hasn't even driven a tank yet. But let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, he basically sucks at driving a tank, but hopefully everyone else can kind of carry him through. Uh, my chemists are not completely... Oh, wow, this is not good. 
This is not good at all. Oof. I need my tank drivers to be way, way better tank drivers. You know what? Let's, um, let's pack that off and maybe, like, give it a day or so for them to get slightly better at their jobs, hopefully. And in the meantime, I just want to check out what our numbers would be on the big one here, the Siege of Camp Borealis. How, did, how could we do with that? Explosives? Yep, there's my tanks. Not so much with those, and my terrible tank driver. My desert soldiers should be pretty good, though. Yeah, they're not completely terrible. This is not a bad mix. If I... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the tank driver... I'm going to give him, like, a day to just, I don't know, drive a tank for the very first time, and then kind of see how we're looking. Well, good news, bad news. We're going to go off and do Hot Spring Paradise, because I think we've got a pretty decent shot at that. Bad news is, after creating all those tank drivers... One of them has broken his foot, so he's injured himself while he was training, so I'm once again down, down another tank driver. It's the tank drivers. The tank drivers are my, I need way more, I need like 27 tank drivers. I need nothing but tanks. Okay, how do we do? Successful there, excellent. So Hot Spring Paradise is done. Dragon has lost control of the Hot Springs. Fantastic, it looks like a delightful place to be. They belong to the good people of Go. Once again, we deserve a good soak before we return home. We certainly do. And that's 8,400 money right there. Oh, what is your problem now? All right, that was Dragon saying I'm launching an attack basically right now, and then Julie popped up and said, yeah, we're under attack, like, right now. I'm not... I'm not immediately seeing it. Um, we're not really prepared for that. We're not prepared for any... Oh, you're already repairing that. Good job, you. Who are you? Who are you? Gustav, my main man here, getting things done, being proactive. That's what I like about you. How's my, uh, how's my tank driver doing here? You still... Oh, you're back. Okay. Uh, maybe we can give this a shot then. So let's do that, 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 and that. Not really a great shot here. Not really a great shot at all. I think I'm going to wait on that and let them uh, let them get a little better at those things. Maybe I've got some decent desert soldiers. Maybe we can kind of ignore the fact that my tank drivers suck and make it all up. Yeah, I've got some really good desert soldiers here. Give it a shot. Siege of Camp Borealis. Give it a go, guys. And we got one of the regular propaganda things coming in. I don't know if that's the attack they were talking about. Yeah, they're dumping leaflets over here. I gotta get some better defenses down here. Where where do I think that's even going to begin to happen here? Yes, I know. There's drones. It's terrible. We're all, we're all excited about that. Uh, training, training, defense, health, defense. Okay. Let me just start with a security hub because I know I'm going to need one. Let's put that guy right over there. I'll get some people over there in a sec. And then let's get one of these guys, like, right here. And then a drone battery. I know it's going to be very noisy around here. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, hang on. I will go get some people hired for that relatively soon. Oh, hang on. i got to make a thing here. What do we got to do? Spreading lies on social media, Helga has gathered a group of fanatical citizens. Destroy their values and traditions. They are armed with brooms, pots, and rotten tomatoes. Move them out of the way, ignore them, or a 90-minute inspirational speech. No, nothing's going to convince them. Nothing convinces anybody. Okay, uh, go ahead and give them an inspirational speech. We'll see how that works. Anyone want to take guard duty around here? Be oh, hang on. Judith, Beefy, and Hawkeye. Oh, yeah, I'll just take you just to take you. You'll probably become a tank driver. Uh, there we go. Defensive knowledge. Why don't you go on the day shift for the new security hub? Thank you. And anyone else good at defense? Hawkeye. Oh, Hawkeye and Heroic. Oh, yeah, you're in, kid. Yeah, definitely take that. Oh, defensive knowledge again. Great. You can go on the night shift for the new... Um, no, no, not, not, not any of that. The new security hub. Off you go. Oh, we actually succeeded in that. No one's more surprised than me. Camp has suffered damage. Soldiers are banged up, but we've taken our last camp back. Okay, I did the 90-minute speech. Yes. Popularity in nearby towns has increased. Okay, do we have everyone came home? That's really, really good. Do we have a... Do we have a new base now? Well, if we do, I don't immediately see it in the areas that we control, but I do see one right over the border here. Warlords of Atlantis, I need a Navy commander. Right on. Well, we're going underwater. How do I... How do I go about getting myself a... A Navy commander these days? Is that a thing I'm even allowed to do? Uh, that is, it's in here somewhere, okay, 
Navy Command. There we go. 2,000 for a Navy Commander. Yeah, absolutely. Set one of those up for me. Let's tuck you maybe over here next to the chemist and go ahead and get a road going over there. Okay, well, somebody's going to need to deal with being a Navy commander here. Uh, who's got nothing going on? James, how are you doing? You're actually pretty good, James. Yes, yeah, sir. James, you're, you're into the Navy now. Welcome to the Navy. And let's slide you over okay. to intelligence training to start getting that going. That is probably an excellent place to call it on one military camp for today. I guess we, we finally got some things done. Finally got some things done. I might just... Uh, I just leave this running for a while and get everyone sort of up to speed and better at their things. And that way, when we do go off to a mission, we might be slightly better at it. But we'll call it on OMC for today. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth, all right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense, all right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire. And uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there. <laughs>